Ready? All right. Um, you know, it's uh, been a, obviously a very difficult day for me. Um, haven't slept or ate in, you know, 24 hours. And it's been very emotional for me, my family, staff, our players, and our managers. In times like this, you need to lean on family and friends for your support. That starts with my wife, Megan, who is by my side today and has been by my side for the last 31 years as I live my dream to be, to be a college basketball coach. Megan and I have been blessed with three beautiful daughters. Our oldest, Hannah, is a pharmacist in St. Louis and isn't here, but I know her spirit is here, and she's been one of our biggest fans. Christy is here, a proud Illinois grad, going to be married May 5th to Trent Swift, and we're excited and looking forward to that. And, of course, the little one, Emily, is a current student at the U of I, a cheerleader who cheers her heart out every game. They have been truly our joy of our life, and I couldn't be prouder of them. And then the friends, the friends are endless. It's been, for the last five weeks, a constant, continuous text messages, emails, calls that go on and on of former players, coaches, and people I don't even know. I've been incredibly fortunate to serve as a head basketball coach here at the University of Illinois for the past eight and a half years. As you knew, I grew up in Milwaukee, in the heart of Big Ten country. So it was, a, it was truly a dream for me to become to Illinois and run a Big Ten program. I would like to thank Ron Gunther. He sought me out when I was at Southern Illinois and gave me this opportunity, and I will forever be grateful to him. I've been part of the Big Ten Conference for, the last, for 27 years, and I'm proud to be part of eight Big Ten championships during that time. This is a league that is built on integrity and mirrors everything that I've, I have stood for during my career. This is a bottom line business. We all know it. It's the reality of the coaching profession. But I, I leave here with no regret. I believe this program is on solid footing and once again will experience the levels of success we enjoyed much of my time here. I am very proud of what this basketball program has accomplished during my tenure. The outright Big Ten Championship in 2004 was the first in more than 50 years at this school. We could talk all day about the magical season in 2005, the 100th anniversary of Illinois basketball. Many of you in this room were here to cover that, so you lived it as well. What a thrill it was to carry the number one ranking for almost the entire season, remain undefeated for 29 games, win a second outright Big Ten championship title, get to the Final Four after the comeback exciting win versus Arizona, win an NCAA record 37 games, and finally to lead the University of Illinois onto the court for the national championship game for the first time in the school's history. Every time I visit St. Louis, I think about the Final Four experience. I still can remember standing on top of the hotel and looking out and seeing tens of thousands of Illinois fans covering the streets in orange. An amazing sight. And that fan support is one of the truly amazing things about holding this position at Illinois. The Illini Nation is everywhere, and it's been everywhere we have gone 
from in the States to Europe and beyond. The outpouring support I have recently received is not new. It's been there all the way. It's been a special fan base that loves their school and their basketball team. And it's been a pleasure to represent them as their head coach. Megan and I and our girls have loved living in Champaign. We have met remarkable people and met so many close friends. We have been active in the community, and I cannot thank the people of Champaign-Urbana enough for how they have supported Coaches versus Cancer. One of the things I wanted to mention last week was to applaud Super Pantry, who reached a million dollars raised since 2002 by selling the $1 basketballs at their gas stations. I hope to use my 72 orange ties to be donated to Coaches versus Cancer, that people will buy them and the money will raise, be raised and go to Coaches versus Cancer. That, of course, after Derek gets to pick the ones he wants. We have remained one of the top 10 schools each year in raising money in the fight against cancers, numbers that have reached the hundreds of thousands annually. I hope that the next coach and this community and university will continue to support Coaches versus Cancer for many years to come. I've always enjoyed the positive relationship with campus and the university faculty and our athletic department and believe they respected how we ran the program and how accessible we were to their academic mission. I want to thank my staff who is all here and their families. It starts with our coaches. Coach McLean, who was there from the day one when I arrived on campus. He is a special man. I don't know if I've met any better individual, not only in my coaching profession, but in my life. Coach Price, his family, Jay, of course, came from Purdue and was with us at Purdue and is one of a, a very, very loyal friend. Coach Howard, of course, course, and his family is here. Jaren's played here, probably was our MVP the first year. Even though he didn't play much, he was truly the heart and soul of our team. Coach Nottingham and I go way back to Western Kentucky to sharing food stamps and, and just growing up in the game, and I appreciate all that he's done. And then Coach Harrington and his family are here. Sean, of course, one of the greatest dead eyes to play at the University of Illinois and a great basketball mind that will be a, good, a very good coach in the future. It continues with our strength coach, Jimmy Price. He's somewhere here, uh, somebody that is a dear friend and has done a great job with our players. Our, tra our trainer, Al Martindale, is here and back. Al, of course, came over from football after 30-some years, made the transition, and truly is a, a loyal person to the University of Illinois like no other. And, of course, Rod Cardinal. I'm not sure what his title is, but he's everything. Everything to everybody, and you can't ask for more out of a person. Of course, our... SID Derek Burson spends many late nights up with me, texting, giving me ideas, being my uh, media psychologist, and I can't appreciate what he's done for me. And of course, our secretary, Julie, who's been with us most of our tenure here, and we appreciate all that she's done. They're, they've represented this program in a first-class manner each and every day, and have played a major role in our success. It's truly been a pleasure working with them. Finally, you've heard me say this many times, but it's all about the players. Most of them are here. Some had chances to go home. Brandon went to see his brother in the sectional final. Tyler is on the way home. Meyer's on the way to Indy. Tracy and Mike Henry, I believe, had train tickets home. But I appreciate those guys and all the guys that are here. 
I got into this business 33 years ago. A lot has changed, but what hasn't changed is the reason I became a coach. To help young men graduate and be successful. This is their program. That's why we're here as coaches, for them. So to all of my prayer players here, past and present, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And this group was special. I don't know if I've had a better character group in all my years of coaching. And we had our struggles. But every day they came with great spirit and gave us the dedication and sacrifice and commitment that you asked from a player. We did a thing trying to get us to come together as a team. We all had a link, and mine was the last one, and I only wish I could have connected it, and we had something special to finish the season. But after many tough days and lots of tears, I think they've all grown up along with all of us and found out that they can get through brick walls, and they're going to have a chance to be successful, not only in the classroom, but on the court and in life. And I truly appreciate them. I've had hundreds of former players who have contacted me the last few weeks. Their support I've received has been truly humbling and heartwarming. My final message to our current players, when I met them last night and again early this morning, is that I want them to know that there's, there's no court coach that could be prouder of them than I am of them, and our staff is of them. They have truly handled a difficult situation with courage and integrity. I will always be rooting for them and want them to have su success. And most importantly, I want them to know that I will always be there for the rest of their lives. I can tell you truly that my staff and I have given our heart and soul to this program. It's been a tough day. I always remember April 30th, 2003, my first press conference when I became, probably became, the coach here. And I'll also remember March 9th, my last day here. And also, the first day of Custer Cup opening up. And that's where I'm going right now. Thank you for being a special part of our lives.